What's up, guys? Boy, you got a savage. Uh, yeah, so you seen the title. Me and Brad Time were talking about doing a little comedy skit and having a laugh about it, but it's not funny. And he even asked me, Justin, are you still going to do this comedy thing? No, there's no comedy about it. I've messaged two of my friends already. We spoke, and they've got the same views as me on this match. Now, sparingly, I heard it through, like, you know, Kathy Kelly. Oh, this person's been announced for Saudi Arabia. This person's been announced. And I seen that the Goldberg thing. I was kind of wondering, like, where's Goldberg coming? I was fine. The fact that he was going to be at Saudi Arabia and not the main roster, because I just thought, what's the point? It was, it's not going to be used for much. And, you know, Taker never seems to be able to go away. And I say this in the light, the most light-hearted way. Anyone who's going to come for me in the comment section, you're stupid. Because if you go look back from my videos, everyone knows I love Undertaker. But there's a certain Undertaker I love. Now, what's happening with WWE is they keep bringing these legends back for these stupid pay-per-views. Like, let's be honest, none of us care about this pay-per-view. It, uh, it'll probably come on a Friday at some stupid time when all the kids are at school. Yeah, it's in Saudi Arabia. I don't let me get started on that. I've got no problem with the country of Saudi Arabia. Do you think? But let's be honest. We know the rules. We know your views on on home on on people who are, are gay, and lesbian. We know your views on women you want to cover up. It's not really WWE atmosphere, is it? Like the women never turn up, so I'm guess we're gonna have a card full of men because the women refused to go last time. Daniel Bryan refused to go last time. John Cena refused to go last time. You know what I'm saying? You see the one what we had in Australia? Perfect. It was like a proper main event. This Saudi Arabia rubbish where everyone sits around the ring and got, you can see kids running around sitting on settees and you got a couple of princes at the front row. I don't care. And it has to be said, man. You know my channel's all about positivity and that. But anyway, you came because you seen the title. Undertaker versus Goldberg. Ah! I don't want it. I do not want it. This is what I'm saying. I've tried to do this a thousand times and every time I get worked up, I don't want to see it. I do not want to see the Phenom versus Goldberg and Goldberg versus the Phenom ever, ever. It's 19 years too late. I don't want to see it. I didn't want to see it last time. I don't want to see it now. I don't want to see Undertaker versus Sting. I don't want to see Goldberg versus Triple H. I don't want to see any of this business. If the match has happened before in the past and it was good, fine. It's happening again. I don't want to see it. I've seen Goldberg versus uh, Brock Lesnar. I got caught up in the hype. You know what I mean? It was fun times around there. He's got a great entrance. Ah, you're next. Ah. Yeah, it was all great. And I was like, okay, they got some making up to do for the old WrestleMania. And, you know, it. let's be honest. If you take the excitement out of it, go back and watch the match. The match lasted about six minutes. There was a spear through the barricades. There was loads of F5s. And it was over. You know what I mean? But that's fine. He got his, brought his little fat chubby kid into the ring and they celebrated around. Nah, my dad's super. And he's like, I'm a hero to these kids. We don't, I don't care, Goldberg, man. The Goldberg used to be a savage. He used to be an absolute savage. Man had a record of like 175 fights. No losses. Savage. Undertaker. The Phenom. Dun, dun, dun. All of that business. Rest in peace. All of that, the, bro, all of that, like this geezer may be, it doesn't have to be my favourite wrestler of all time. You don't know, The Rock is my favourite wrestler of all time. But, I am guaranteed Undertaker, along with maybe Hulk Hogan, is the most iconic WWE, WWF star of all time. I'm not joking. If I ask somebody who's in their 50s now, who, who stopped watching wrestlers ages ago, the first thing they always say to me is, Undertaker's still there. They always say it to me. They don't ask me if The Rock's still there, if Austin's still there. It's always his Undertaker's still there because his character's so iconic. But damn, man. You, like, you nearly brought me to tears at WrestleMania. Like, I was happy because I wanted Roman to win. You nearly brought me to tears. We all thought it was over. You took off your hat. You took your gloves in the ring. You done the little thing was, thank you, Taker. WWE Soul T-shirt. What said thank you, Taker, on it? With the dead man logo. Got the T-shirt. We still here. Then he comes on Raw and he's talking about Raw 25 and I've still got people to bury and blah, blah, blah. And we're like, oh my God. Then he fights. Who did he fight? Then he fought John Cena at WrestleMania. I wasn't looking forward to it, but John Cena sold it perfect with being in the ring and stuff like that. I mean, being in the audience, he was there all night. The ref come up to him. Oh, yo, Undertaker's there. He wants to fight. Fine. Fine. Then Undertaker squashes John Cena in like two minutes, bro. With the worst B 
big boot of all time. Watch it back. The worst big boot of all time. Yeah? So we went from the Roman match where... You know, you've seen what happened. Roman was trying to pick him up for the for the tombstone. It was a bit of a shambles. And you've seen the worst big boot of all time. He squashes John Cena. It doesn't matter what you think of John Cena, what I think of John Cena. He is the most successful WWE superstar of all time. 16-time world champion. Not like Ric Flair, where all of his titles didn't come in one place. All of John's came in one place. So you'd went and squashed John Cena. Yeah? You lost to Roman. You... Uh, you why did you just leave after you beat after Brock beat you, man? He would have been fine, man. And then he come back and all of a Saudi Arabia thing and fought Rusev, and then he's in a casket match, and then he puts him and Aiden in the thing. Do you think anyone cared about Aiden and Rusev going in the casket? You know when they got backstage, they came straight out. It weren't believable. It was trash. He comes back with this weird tan all the time. I'm just had enough, man. Somebody do me a favor. Just lock it all off. Can we just agree? I mean, comment below, and you're gonna have a go at me, and I don't mind. You can have a go as much as you like. That's what the comment section's for. If you're over on my channel, you obviously have something towards me where you like watching my videos or you just want to disagree. I'm fine with it. I love this chat that we can do. But Undertaker versus Goldberg, are you serious? Like, why do you wait till these men are in their 50s to put them against each other? My friend just said to me, and it makes perfect... Like, The Rock, Triple H. That's it. I, I, I swear to you, that's it. They are the only ones I allow. I, I, not that I allow. I do not run the WWE. But they're the only ones I'm happy to see on the screen. I don't even want to see Triple H too much on my screen. You know what I'm saying? And I just found out that he's fighting against Randy Orton at this tube show. They don't want to see that match. We all seen it when they was doing the evolution thing. That was perfect. Now you're going to ruin the legacy. Triple H, I understand you're pulling it in for the company. Your dad owns the company. You probably own some of it now as well. You, 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 your wife is the... Like, she owns some of the... I get it. You're trying to help the company. Triple H, what you do with NXT is a beautiful thing. I think it's amazing. NXT sometimes is better than the main roster. It's a beautiful thing. So I know you care about the company. But none of us want to see you fight Randy Orton. There's no beef there. No one wants to see us. If there was beef there, why are you not kicking the hell out of each other on the, on the main roster? There's no beef. We don't want to see it. And we definitely don't want to see Undertaker versus Goldberg. Just like last year, I didn't want to see DX versus the Brothers of Shambles. Yeah, I said it. Not Brothers of Destruction. Brothers of Shambles. You got Shawn Michaels coming with this. You know, I don't want to bring up the shaven head thing, but he had long hair the whole time and it kind of was Shawn in it. But he comes in with his bad back and he's, you can see him talking in the ring and he's like, oh, I'm tired. Blah, 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 blah. Triple H tears his peck. It should have been enough to know. You're, you tore your peck. Shawn. You, 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 you're out of here, man. All right? That's not your fault, but you're out of here. Injuries and all that. Taker, I don't know what was going on in that ring. Kane, the big red shambles. I'm glad he's mayor of Knoxville. Don't come back to WWE. Unless you're going to come. You all deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. And I'm on about at the elite level. If anyone deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, all of the guys I just said deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. All right? That's fine. I agree. But back in the ring, if we're all honest, does any of us want to see it? And don't take the emotion out of it. Don't lie to yourself now. Don't come in my comment section just saying it because I can't believe you said that about Undertaker. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video. I love the Undertaker. But do we really want to see these geezers come back and fight? These old timers. We don't want to see it, man. I just, like, I don't want to see it. It ruins your legacy and you come back and these up and coming stars. Because back in the Attitude Era, these guys was not as, as um, athletic as these guys now. It's not their fault. Science moves on. Technology moves on. Okay. But in the ring, promos and that, these are the best. But they don't cut promos for, the, for these events because there's no point. So in the ring, are you telling me that there's not better wrestling matches we can see? You, you ta you, somebody, just, I'm going gonna, gonna to just come up with a random one now. A fatal four-way. Yeah? Okay. Pete Dunne. Yeah? AJ Styles. Who threw Seth in there? Nah, you just keep Seth out of it. Pete Dunne, AJ Styles, Andrade, Alistair Black. Take away Alistair Black. Velveteen Dream. Now, didn't I take away one of them? Put, I don't know. Are you telling me that doesn't that match doesn't sound more exciting than Goldberg versus Undertaker? But come on, man! It don't mean anything about enough, man. It's upsetting me. I'm getting mad. I don't know what to do. Have you ever heard me run on this channel? But now I'm running. I don't, oh my god, guys! 
I know I came on here like someone died, but honestly, I'm not making up. When I ever, anytime I report that someone's died and I'm really sad about it, I, I half felt like this 10 minutes ago and I had to calm myself down before even doing the video. It's a shambles, man. Please, guys, if you do anything, if I get, if I get 17 views on this video, all 70 people comment below and just let me know your views because it might come back that I'm in the wrong. No, 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 not that I'm in the wrong. I can't be in the wrong for my opinion. So, actually, shut your mouth. Damn! But... It might be that no one agrees with me, and if no one agrees with me, then maybe I'm just being soft. But literally, as soon as I found out the news, I messaged two of my close friends. They are massive wrestling fans. We do not ha hold the same opinions on nearly anything about wrestling. We're just massive wrestling fans. And both of them said it's a shambles. It just sounds like a money move. It sounds like they don't care about the company anymore. I mean, I don't think you care about the company anymore if you want to fight Saudi Arabia, to be honest. But that's just me. Anyone from Saudi Arabia who's watching my channel, I love you, man. But you, it's not your fault your country is a shambles. You know what I mean? There's, poly, there's policies in England that people don't like as well. But yeah, man, the homophobic, sexist ass country. And you want to take WWE there. I thought it was for the kids. I thought it was for PG. These are the, this is the same. Oh my. It just dawns on me. This is the same company that do so much for Make-A-Wish Foundation. What happens if there's a Make-A-Wish kid who is gay? Think of it. Or a Make-A-Wish kid who's a, a girl. And the only chance she gets to see a big, a, a favorite wrestler is at the Super Showdown because they're gonna die. This is serious. It's not a joke. And they're gonna die. That's that's the last wish. The doctor says you've got four, you got four weeks or something left. And the, the next event they can see is Super Showdown. Are you telling me that this kid doesn't get to see their heroes because because it's in Saudi Arabia and they don't want like women there and blah 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 or, or they're gonna let the kid come but the kid can't bring their mum you know what I mean I know this is away from the Undertaker and Goldberg thing but this rant is literally the Goldberg and Undertaker thing fired me up anyway that's just over personal preference but the whole Saudi Arabia thing it, like I don't know man it's a bit iffy it's 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 it's, it's, it's uh it's shambles to be fair and the thing is, I tune in all the time because I love wrestling. Last time was on a weird time and I still watched it. The Australian one was good. And I know people are going to be like, well, don't watch it then. Well, the thing is, I got, I got a wrestling channel. I like to react and speak to you guys. And I pay, I'm trying to like plug it, but I pay $9.99 a month. Ever since the network came out, since the first weekend it came out, I've been paying $9.99 a month ever since then. Of course I can watch the old stuff, man, but I pay my money, man, so that to me that means I have a right to say what I want to say. Doesn't mean you're gonna take it on board. Vince probably isn't gonna take it on board because he's making enough money, and that's what it's all about. So whatever. But like I said, guys, more than ever, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Really comment on this video, let me know. Let's have a chat because you can see I'm passionate about it, man. I'm out, guys.